going guys, Sunny aka The Random Reporter here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my personal impressions and thoughts about Google's Project Stadia. So for those of you who don't know, Google's Project Stadia is Google's game streaming service and it was talked about uh, in, in, in high detail very recently at E3 2019 with Google's Stadia Connect. These are going to be their little periodical uh, videos, little streams that they talk about and they give updates about Google Stadia. The most recent one gave really basic information and I'll be telling you guys about it right now. So to start with, let's explain how it kind of works. So it's a game streaming service, but the way that they explained it was that you'll be able to use it on various different uh, platforms and you'll also be able to use it on a bunch of different internet connection strengths. So they said that if you had a 35 megabit connection, which is, uh, that's kind of high end. Personally, I have a 75 megabit connection and you know, for some people who, uh, their jobs or something, they require internet, like streamers, for example, have really high internet connection, but some people, certain states, things like that, can have low internet connection. So I'm happy to see they're kind of sticking with like 35 megabit per second and lower. Uh, but for 35 megabits, you'll be able to get 4K 60 HDR with surround sound. And the lowest you can do is 10 megabit per second, where you'll be getting 720 60 with uh, stereo sound. And for 20 megabyte or 20 megabits per second, we'll be getting around uh, 1080p 60 with 5.1 surround sound. And I think that, I think that was really good um, in terms of how well I think that's going to be able to be executed. Uh, they actually did try something like this earlier called Project Stream. This happened last year, and I was actually lucky enough to beta test it. And so with my internet uh, connection taking into account. It was actually very well made. I think, you know, with the promise of the 35 megabits, 10 megabits, and 20 megabits, I think that they're going to be able to live up to that given, you know, performance from Project Stream. It was very, very much, I was able to play, you know, I have a laptop, right? It's a very thin and light laptop. And so I was able to actually play these games at that high quality uh, off my internet connection. Speaking of my laptop, in terms of what they've announced that you'll be able to play on, they've said you'll have TVs, laptops, tablets, and at the moment, in terms of smartphones, you're limited to the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3a, but they've announced that in the future, you'll be able to do more smartphones. There is one caveat, caveat, 